Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and don't forget, it's Unreal Engine, start of the month, we can download a whole bunch of new assets, we've got the, whoops, the Striker Pose, which is just a whole bunch of poses, we've got this low poly style, which might be good to kind of like reverse engineer how the models actually look and how they work and why do they work. Don't forget light foliage, so this is stuff we can take out of Unreal Engine and bring it into Blender. The game mechanics one, we can kind of go through and still learn the blueprints and how they actually do certain things. So if you're looking at learning Unreal Engine, this might be a really good resource for you. And the advanced RPG system, which will probably go straight over my head. Now, if you want to support the channel and you're on a PC, just open up a new tab, just mute this video, let it play through. I'm just going to sit here for the next seven and a half minutes. Just, I haven't made a long video for a while. So I might just sit here and, you know, chat away. If you have any questions about anything, I don't know. I'll probably put an ad about now. If you play, if it was, if an ad went past, that's good. If you're still listening to me, that's good. Um, just having a little bit of milk, a little bit of Oreos. Dead Set Digital is coming along quite nicely. Um, also, there's a competition over on my Discord in regards to the Pod Racer video that I made. I didn't make the Pod Racer where you can download it and we can. Um, I've given you the opportunity to retexture it and do some. <coughs> excuse me. Some do some minor edits to it. <coughs> Milk and Oreos. Um, and then what we're going to do is going to try and create a full, like animated short film with them racing or something. I don't know. I want to make something though, you know, have like a community project. I think that'd be cool. <coughs> like, <coughs> what else? Um, yeah. If you're not on the discord, jump on the discord. There's a link in the description. That's probably about it. Just chilling. I'll probably disable Patreon for a while. Um, just so much stuff, you know, because I'm making three videos a week plus the live stream. Plus I'm trying to do an animated short film. <coughs> just a range of stuff. So, some jokes. We got jokes. Why do gorillas have big nostrils? Because they got big fingers. What's red and bad for your teeth? A brick. Why did Sally fall off the swing? Sally had no arms. Why'd Toby fall off the bike? Toby was a fish. Hmm. Mm, mm. How do you put a giraffe in a fridge? Open the door, put the giraffe in. Close the door. How do you put an elephant in a fridge? Open the door, take the giraffe out, put the elephant in, close the door. <coughs> All the animals in the animal kingdom are at a meeting, except for one. Which one? The elephant is in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So you're in the African safari, Sahara, whatever you want to call it. And you come across a crocodile infested river. How do you cross it? You just swim across. The crocodiles are at the meeting. <laughs> Sometimes I worry about myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm. No, 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 that's, that's all I got. I've got to find another joke that I can animate. Well, actually, no, I do have one that I have to do. I'm actually looking at buying the Perception Neuron 3, the new one that just came out. I reckon, yeah, if I hit 100,000 subs, I'd probably give away my old one. Like, that'd be a pretty good prize, wouldn't it? Give away a motion capture suit. Like, 
Mad Warriors. I mean, you got more of a chance of winning that than winning something of Mr. Beast, so. That would be cool. Let me know. Would you want me, if I upgraded, to give away my mocap suit at 100,000? Sure, I'm only on 34 at the moment. There's probably not that many people watching it right now. <coughs> and let's have an ad. Um, what else? I don't know. I'm going to be doing some 3D printing soon. Um, so on the Oculus Quest stands, I want to kind of print a holder for the head so that it can be adjusted. Can it be adjusted? Yeah, so it's on a ball thing. So you've got to kind of like screw it in. And then it kind of just sits there. And then you can kind of adjust it, but it's kind of like attached to the wall. So a bit of a plate. It's the idea that I'm having. I mean, that 3D printer there, it's sitting, it's not printing anything. Throw. What else? I don't know. I'll probably use a vernier for it as well. Some of my uh, trade engineering stuff. What else? So that'd be interesting. Because I do have like a Series 1 Oculus Rift. That's pretty good. I think the best game I've ever played was Half-Life Alex. Mind you, I didn't finish it because it's just too scary for me. And I'm a pansy when it comes to scary stuff. Mm. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I think the little one's awake. Darn it. Go to like another minute. Sounds like the little one's awake. Might have had a bad dream. <laughs> I don't know. If you're still here, thank you. And I gotta go. I sure hope that was eight minutes. Would be close. Anyway, thank you very much.